All right, we're making a cute little leprechaun out of simple lines and shapes. So we're going to start with a square or a rectangle for the top part of the hat. So we're kind of close to the top of the paper. And then we're going to come out on each side. Then we're going to come down a little bit. And then connect that across. So that's for the brim of the hat. And then we're going to make a square for the buckle. And a little bit smaller square inside of that. We're going to connect that out on either side. So that, that there's a ribbon going around the hat. And we're going to make a nice big U shape here for the head. Okay, we're going to make two nice big circles for the eyes. A little bit smaller circle inside of that. And leave a little white part for the shiny part of the eyes. We have room for some eyebrows. You can make those like little rectangles. And then a little curve for the nose. And a smiling mouth. And two little curves on either side of that. Okay, then his ears are kind of pointy. So they point up and then they curve back down in. Point up and then curve back down in. Okay, his beard is just a bunch of little half circles. Going all the way across his chin, up to his other ear, and then he's got a little bit of hair on either side of his head. We're going to make two lines coming down for his neck and then a little square for his bow tie. And then we're going to make a line coming up on either side for the bow tie and then connect it down. Same thing on the other side of the square coming out and then connect it in. Okay, his um, top part of his body is kind of like a square or a rectangle. So I'm going to come out a little bit wider than the bow tie. And then I'm going to come down on either side. And then I'm going to connect that across. Okay, his arms are going to come out straight. So a little square on either side for his shirt. And then his arms are coming out from there. And then curves for his fingers. And then here, we're going to make a triangle or a V shape for his shirt. And then just come down straight from that. And I made him wearing shorts, so I'm going to come out a little bit on each side. And then come in. And then connect that with kind of a triangle. And then his legs are coming off of that. On each side. And then his shoes are kind of like coming down and then over, go down and then over the other direction. And then I just finished it off with a curve there and a curve there. And let's see, also in his um, vest, I made a couple buttons, so two circles. And then I gave him a, um, shamrock to hold. So you can make a heart shape and then a heart facing to the side and then a heart facing to the other side and that gives you a good shamrock shape. 
Um, what else? We've got his grass for him to stand on. Do some zigzag lines. And I made some checker pattern in his shorts, so just lines coming down. And then lines going across. Um, and then the rainbow in the background, so. Some curved lines. When I hit the hat, I just skip over it and then continue the curve on the other side of the hat. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet we usually just make purple. Okay, and then you're going to color that in. So I did have a uh, peach marker for the skin color. If you don't have that, you could always use a um, peach crayon. And also for the hands and the little arms. And I'm going to use a lot of green for this picture because St. Patrick's Day green color. And leprechauns are usually wearing green. So when I color in, I usually go inside of my space. It's kind of like an inside line instead of an outline. Going along the inside of the space that I'm going to color in. And then the rest of the space I can color in line by line or back and forth. And that usually helps me to stay inside my lines. I'll do also green for my little shamrock that he's holding. And green for his vest. You know, you could color in all of his clothes green if you wanted to. But I wanted to add some accents of other colors as well. And some green along the grass here. And let's get the green in the rainbow too. Red, orange, yellow, green. So this time it kind of lined up with his hat. So I might leave a little bit of white space there in between the stripe of green in the rainbow and his hat. Okay, and, oh, and I also did some green stripes on his shirt sleeves. 
going across the front of the shirt and also on his long socks that he's wearing. And we've got some orange for a lot of the other details in the picture. Beard. Oops, I forgot that ear. Let's see, uh, red and then orange. So this stripe of rainbow and the orange. And some orange in his stripes on his shirt. And his bow tie. And his gold buttons. And then some black for his buckle inside of the hat. And the stripe of ribbon on his hat. shoes get that other ear with the peach okay and yellow that orange yellow on the rainbow Here. So red, orange, yellow, and blue. And purple. So I did use a half sheet of paper for this. You might want to turn it into a card. A little happy St. Patrick's Day card. Uh, maybe you know somebody whose birthday is coming up around St. Patrick's Day. And good luck with yours. Hope it turns out just great for you.